Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, everybody. I feel the need to reiterate, as I said at the end of the last video, that I fucking hate blue babies. So let's go check out our challenges here. Is there any one of these that I haven't played? I don't think I've played nine deaths. Which scares the shit out of me. Hmm. You know what? Let's try Large Marge. I think I played like two seconds of that and got killed super easily. But I don't know. We'll see what comes along anyway. I want to complete all these challenges. I think I misjudged the challenges. Let me get back to that train of thought after I take this pill. Maybe it's bad gas. Maybe it'll just bust open this tinted rock. Hey, health up. That's awesome. Well, we will bust open this tinted rock anyway. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, I feel like I misjudged the challenges at first because I thought they were all gonna be super, like, fun and easy, like the fetus challenge or the meat boy forever challenge. Oh, right, it's basement XL, so I do need a key in order to access both treasure rooms. That's unfortunate. Never mind. Uh, but it seems like the last half, like the meat boy fetus challenge, stuff like that, oh god, it's chemical peel, that's good. Uh, are, are easy and fun, and the first half are. You know, remarkably difficult most of the time. I More difficult than your average run, let's say. So, I'm trying to get the- knock them all out of the way. I think I've done most of the easy ones already. And all that remains are the more difficult ones. This is a really weird layout for, uh, a Curse of the Labyrinth floor. Because I feel like... Uh, usually Curse of the Labyrinth has, like, an enormous middle area. Whereas this level does not. It seems to have just like two branching hallways. But I guess, you know, the basement part one and the basement part two are both pretty tiny floors. So if you mix them together, it still makes one only medium-sized floor. So I could use that key to pop open this golden chest. But I think I would be wiser to save it for the... Oh, maybe it'll get it? Yeah, it did get it. Awesome. Oh, never mind. I was going to say wiser to save it for the treasure room. But instead, let's go pop this open. Worst case scenario, money and bombs, probably. Single bomb and a heart. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It was worth a key. Now we got one bomb, one key. We're very well balanced. It's very important at all times, you know, to keep your uh, keep your chakras aligned when you're playing the Binding of Isaac. There's a little bit of extra money for us. Now there is a way to get to these two bombs while also blowing up that tinted rock. I don't think there's any question about that. The only question is whether or not I can do it. I'm pretty sure if I just place a bomb right here, it'll get both of them. But let's find out. Okay, it did. So we have two spirit hearts, and two bombs, for the price of one bomb, that was absolutely worthwhile. And remember, like, it's it's important to get as much health as possible here. I mean, we don't really have that much control over it, but I should say it's important not to lose very much health, because we could have the opportunity to get a sick deal with the devil after our second boss fight, which would make life much easier. Imagine if I got a brimstone or a mom's knife on the basement part two. It's that situation right there, that would be really good. Alright. Well, the thing I, I find really interesting about Chemical Peel is you'll notice that only the shots coming out of the left side of my face do the extra damage. So someone was told me, actually a lot of people told me, in the comments for one of these Kane videos where I got Chemical Peel, that like, Chemical Peel doesn't actually work on Kane because he has an eye patch over his left eye. Which is kind of a unique uh, attention to detail, shall we say. But also kind of shitty because I really needed that damage up. I think we still won that video though. So far with Wrath of the Lamb, it seems like if I if I win, I have an insanely overpowered run. If I lose, I have an insanely underpowered run. Probably not worth a key to access this range upgrade. I was doing just fine by myself, but who knows, maybe that'll come in handy against a boss or something. I will explore absolutely every room, because again, Tinted Rocks, pretty valuable right now. And hey, we get to fight Wrath. Wrath could potentially give us uh, something worthwhile. If, if nothing else, he will probably give us a few bombs. They might be troll bombs, but there will be explosions happening sometime soon. Go ahead, asshole. Yeah, fire some bombs at me. See what happens. I've mastered your techniques, Wrath. I feel like Super Wrath should kick the bombs back at you. Alright, so there's Mr. Boom. Not a great item, but it's okay for right now because we don't have all that many bombs. And we don't have a spacebar item anyway, so... Not a huge problem. So if you didn't see the last run, I was playing as Blue Baby. That did not work out very well for me. It was actually like a 30 minute run with two failures in it, which is... I guess maybe probably a little bit worse than average for Blue Baby. Not a horrible, but... Uh, apparently there is a very special item you unlock when you beat Isaac with Blue Baby. Hopefully one day I'll join the club of people who have that item. For now we got Duke of Flies. I am not going to use Mr. Boom. 
I will save Mr. Boom and use that on the next boss, because you never know, maybe it's more difficult. Or maybe there's a Tinted Rock in the next room and I don't want to waste my, uh, my actual bombs, because I'll probably be getting rid of Mr. Boom as soon as possible. Unless I get like an insane battery or something, like, like 9 volt and battery that allows me to have a Mr. Boom every room. But eh, even still, that's not that valuable, I suppose. Because, I, you know, it's going to be likely, or it happens often, I should say, that I have a lot of bombs as I progress in the game. But so far, this is going very well. So we got HP upgrade here. Again, that's great because we have the potential to maybe get rid of some of that HP when we deal with Satan here. So let's drop, um... I can't believe that almost happened like that. I almost got hit by my own Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom, I hate you. That would have been terrible, you know, suffice to say. That was another terrible dodge on my part. Almost repeated it there. I'm at the point in my Isaac career where I should not be taking damage against Famine. Dude is not that hard. And it's not like he changes every fight, he's got the exact same pattern. If you're standing like perpendicular to him, or perpendicular to his path of movement, he spawns grandfather flies. If you're standing parallel or in line with him, he does that, uh, like, across the screen attack. Alright, well he's gonna die, he's gonna give me a cube of meat. We do have the opportunity to talk to Satan here, or maybe it'll be an angel room. No, it is a devil room. Two hearts for rage! Why not? I think that's okay. An, an, blah, 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 blah. an okay item. Actually, I think it's a good item. Especially when you have decent base damage. Okay, so I'm thinking... Oh, that's shitty. It's really shitty. Uh, I'm thinking that Large Marge basically uh, gives you Curse of the Labyrinth every time, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it, in fact, it, it can actually expedite the process. For example, if you're on like the womb and you just want to bum rush the rest of the game, if you find the boss room quickly, in Curse of the Labyrinth, then you found two boss rooms, so you've essentially skipped the Womb Part 1 and the Womb Part 2. Of course, if you find it more slowly, then that's really bad for you. Managed to get that dodge in there, didn't think it was possible. Because uh, you'll, you'll basically be doing the Womb Part 1 and the Womb Part 2 before fighting the boss who, you know, almost always gives HP upgrades, or uh, full health, I should say. Or at least some hearts. <laughs> Tripping over my words a little bit here. Not, not trying to say that every boss gives you full HP or an HP upgrade. But you guys, you, you know where I'm coming from on this one. Bosses, the boss rooms are nice, because they always have like reliable patterns. So if the boss is easy, it's no problem, and they usually drop hearts as well, so... Oftentimes a boss room is like a good thing to see, not a, not a nasty thing to see. At least that's my perspective on things. Nothing in there, we do have a blood bank. I'll make sure to get some use out of that, if at all possible. And of course, by if at all possible, I mean if some heart containers drop. Really need to get my foot in the door here, get one of these greeds killed so I can start racking up some damage as Samson. Well, as Rage, I guess. Not as Samson. Because I, I don't know, I'm playing as Isaac, I guess, even though I didn't start with the D6. In fact, I started with nothing at all! Nothing at all! Nothing at all! Please, just get in the way of my shots. Alright, you get trapped in the wall, that's fine by me as well. Blood Bank still tempting me here. Do I have enough key? Yeah, I got enough keys to visit both treasure rooms. No problem. I got enough bombs to potentially open up this uh, area here and access that golden chest, but I, I need a key drop from Larry Jr. or something like a drop in that zone right there to make it worthwhile. No, just a penny outside. No need. We'll come back to that later if we get a chance. And, you know, there's another three cents there we could potentially get if we use Mr. Boom. Maybe I should be using Boom, Mr. Boom a little bit more often. To, oh, God. To access those, uh... Like, uh, just like random three cents or two cent areas. Because then Mr. Boom will have a chance to get recharged. It's a lifesteal. Not that valuable, but we'll take it. Uh, maybe it will be valuable, you know. Uh, and then if that gets recharged, then of course we can... Eventually pick up even more money and make the shop worthwhile. So that's, I think, what I'm going to do. How long does Mr. Boom take to recharge? It's two or three rooms. I can't imagine it could be six. Does Rage low? Oh, fuck me. This is bad. Does Rage lower your base damage, too? Because it feels like I'm doing less damage on this floor than I was on the last floor. I guess the enemies are harder, too. But still. Okay, so it's every two rooms for Mr. Boom. Because if Rage lowers your starting damage, that's not so strong. I mean, I do have Chemical Peel. Oh, fuck me. This game, man. This game! I could die on this room right here! 
Let's try it. Maybe it's full health. Bombs are key. Uh, it's okay, I guess. It's not terrible. Let's see what we got up here first. Half heart. Alright, you know what? This is a good opportunity to use Mr. Boom, I feel. So let's do that. Give me access to this full heart. I guess that's why he's good to keep around. Uh, and then, you know, we'll use a bomb because we got five keys now. Let's open this. Golden chest. Ooh, damage upgrade. Well worth it. Steven is a, a pretty rare item as well. So that is going to work really well in conjunction with Rage. And we'll just try to make our way to that second treasure room. I am, like, it's been fairly difficult for me so far on this floor. I guess Catacombs XL is, you know, substantially harder than the Basement XL, so kind of to be expected. There we go, got some more bombs. Could look for the secret room, but, you know, there's... Oh, fuck! Yeah, just let it happen. That's a dead end, so I'm just gonna bounce the fuck out of there. Want nothing to do with that. I hate those guys. And moreover, I just hate that layout. So I spawn in a very lucky location here. We got Solo Greedhead. Greed headshot first, always remember that. Nothing there. I hate green bomb dudes. Seriously, always puts me on edge. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. Oh, just this endless string of curse words. Wrath of the Lamb, what have you done to me? I used to be good at this game. Well, I guess that's debatable. <laughs> I used to be competent at the Binding of Isaac until you came along. Alright, well, oh, lifesteal. Okay, lifesteal. Remember when I said it was bad two minutes ago? I was full of shit. Good pill, good pill, good pill. Terrible fucking pill. The worst, really. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Remember on Basement XL? I had like eight hearts? Those were the days, weren't they? Those were the days. No drop there. Maybe I should have exited and then re-entered. So we are going to just, I don't know, I'm trying to keep my spirits up in spite of the fact that I feel like I am playing really badly and in conjunction with that the game is sort of butt-fucking me. I mean, worst case scenario, I am still here playing a video game, so it's not like this is a serious issue, but I feel like Troll Engine has been particularly malicious today. At least, it's not even Troll Engine, like I'm not getting fucked on items. It's just the kind of like insane enemies that I'm coming across. Again, like this room could fairly easily kill me if I just took two damage here, like two bombs to the face. It would be enough to kill me. It's basically like getting to the womb three floors early. There's a key. I want to find the second treasure room first. Because I need every advantage in my corner, apparently. There's a lot more bombs. That's good. In fact, that was like a, yeah, four bomb pickup right there. Can't believe I didn't take damage there. That's a positive sign. Making progress. We do have decent items. That's Harlequin, baby? Yes. So we have a little bit of extra shooting power now, too. We're at the shop, might as well go in, I got enough keys. Oh man, that 9 volt is so tempting. So is the spirit heart! Shall we look for the secret room, everybody? Red fire, if you had cost me some health there, I would have been very, very angry. That is not the secret room. We shall check down here. Uh, and if this is not the secret room, maybe I'll just fight the boss and then we'll take it from there. Hmm, I don't really want to waste any more bombs. Let's see who we got in here. Alright, this asshole. Oh, right, we got double bosses. Always forget about that. Let's plan ourselves a Mr. Boom here. Shoot that in. Wow, that did really well. So we got tiers and range upgrade. Still difficult, it could be. We got the, uh, like, oh god, the uh, modified Larry Jr. fistula thing. He has very low HP. But that doesn't make him not scary. Oh god, get up! Oh, okay. I think we're gonna make it. We should make it anyway, all things considered. Awesome. Uh, the shot speed upgrade. Maybe not the most important thing right now. We'll check very quickly here for a secret room. This could be make or break. Fuck it. Down to the next floor! 
With two hearts, Mr. Boom, and half decent damage. I know we're going to Utero. Oh, Necropolis is what I meant, because the game lagged a little bit. And it always lags a little bit when you're going to those new floors for some reason. I will use a bomb to get to this chest. Come on, really? Really? Well, it was worth the bomb, I guess. It wasn't worth the health, though. I hate these new floors, man! I didn't even do well on the last floor! How could you put me on Necropolis? M making me fight bosses! Come on. Could use Mr. Boom here. I bet if he swallowed Mr. Boom, it would kill him in like one hit. It did seem to do a ton of damage to that, uh, other enemy. Or other boss that we fought. We're back to full health. But I mean, that's not really that encouraging considering how much full health is right now. Definitely make sure to destroy everything in this room. Easy kills. A little bit of money. Shop is worthwhile. Again, Book of Revelations. Enormous right now. A little late for the prayer card, I would say. But I would probably still take it over Mr. Boom. Apparently I can't kill any of these guys. It's a sad run if I fail, because I, I felt like after the basement XL, we had great chances. But, I mean, this is, we're definitely, like, in a huge make-or-break zone right now. Ugh, that hurts. But again, I got lifesteal. That's got to be proccing soon. Oh, Jesus Christ. Please give me some health. Well, we'll see what this red chest has. If it has spiders, that might be the end of my run. It's got pills. Okay. We know what these do? No. Could be full health. Bad gas. Could be full health. Teleported me to the blood bank. Or to the, the arcade. Um, that's not so bad, I guess, but I kind of want to save my money for the shop. Although that might be a pipe dream at this point. I haven't been getting very many trinkets lately. wonder if the spawn rates on those has changed. Okay, now we got 15 cents. Shop is in the cards. I'm kind of worried about coming across a single enemy who does, you know, asshole shots, i.e. those green bombs. Oh, shit. Okay, one more hit. I'm done. Lifesteal. Where is my lifesteal? I thought the flies were going to end my life there. I lost two cents on that room, too. Oh, fuck. Oh, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Gotta get the spiders. Okay, spiders come for me. Come for me. Oh, okay. You too, buddy. Alright, now we'll come around this way. Spiders, come for me. I know you see me. Shaking that ass. Shaking that ass. <laughs> Always a bastion of maturity here. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll just go get that right now. Definitely gonna pop open that golden chest because it represents, you know, a chance for success. Cool range upgrade, man. Would have preferred a single half heart to that range upgrade. Not good. Not good. Oh, fuck it. God damn it! Binding of Isaac, you've been screwing me lately! As always, I will see you guys next time. I am legitimately a little bit pissed off. The prevalence of my 15 minute esque runs is too damn high! Spider Bros. I gotta play like a like a Isaac normal game to get myself back in the game or something. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. You know, if I don't blow my brains out. Thanks for watching. I'm just joking, don't worry about it.